what is going on guys so today i'm here with my little brother tim and we're gonna do a video that i is pretty much long awaited i can't believe i haven't done one up until now but i got tim over here he is an expert at dnc he's really good at it to be honest so i thought he'd be a great example to show you guys but today we're gonna go over just some of the basics of dnc we're gonna go over some of the facing movements and the resting positions that you're gonna be at whenever you get to basic training Okay, so basically the point that I wanna get across with this video is for all of you out there who are about to go to basic training, this isn't gonna be at all the DNC. This isn't gonna be everything that you're going to learn in the army whenever it comes to DNC, which DNC is drill and ceremony. It's basically marching around, your different facing movements, just all that kind of stuff. It even includes how you're gonna handle your weapons and everything like that. But basically this is just the basic. So when you get to basic, this is so you're not gonna be stupid. You're not gonna look stupid. You're not gonna get a drill sergeant yelling at you or coming up at you. Like if you practice this stuff on your own, go in the mirror, practice position of attention, parade rest, all that stuff. If you practice doing your facing movements before going to basic, it's gonna make you really just not screw up. Like so if, and it happens, like if a drill sergeant sees somebody and they do an about face and it's terrible, they're gonna be like, what, what are you doing? Yeah, like, like, what are you doing? So yeah. you want to make sure that you actually understand this stuff and actually practice it before going to basics. So this is, that's the purpose of this video, just to give you guys the basics of these movements. Okay, so obviously we are doing this outside, so if there is a little bit of wind, then pardon that issue or whatever. Well, the first thing, the most important thing is the position of attention. Tim is currently in the position of attention right now, and just real quickly, the two times that you're going to get put into this position, the the two commands that you're going to get. You're gonna get fall in and you're going to get the command attention. And attention is gonna be preceded by a preparatory command and then you have the command of execution. So all everything in the army, all the commands, you have the preparatory command followed by the command of execution. So if, for example, if you're not in attention and I say, He's technically not a group, you would say squad, but for the purposes of the video, I'm gonna say platoon. So I would say platoon. He goes to a position that we're gonna talk about in a little bit, and I say attention. All right, so go back. Platoon, attention. All right, so technically I should be at the position of attention when I call commands. That's the circumstance in which you're gonna to go to this position. Um, and then also the other command fall in is something else. So if I say fall in, you go to the position of attention. So those are some key things. If somebody says fall in, or if they say platoon attention, you go to position of attention. Now what is the position of attention? It is a very strict position. It is the most strict of all the positions. So you are going to be standing totally straight upright, head and eyes facing forward. You're not moving at all. Your hands are going to be curled with your thumb over the uh, first knuckle of your pointer finger and your hands are gonna be on the seam of your pants. The other aspect of the position of attention is your feet are gonna be at a 45 degree angle. So if you pay attention to his feet, they are facing or they are creating a 45 degree angle with his feet. That is super duper important, right? So you're standing super straight. You should not be talking. You should not be moving. You should not scratch your nose. If your nose itches, you shouldn't do anything. If a freaking mosquito is on your face, just leave it there because you cannot move as position of attention at all. Do not move at all. Just head and eyes straight forward. Don't even move your eyeballs. So Tim's doing pretty good at attention right now, but if you were to do this incorrectly, you might be slouching, having your elbows bent, something like that. Your elbows and arms should be straight, right? So you don't wanna be slouched over. You don't wanna be like this, how Tim is doing right now or was doing. Um, that's the incorrect way of doing the position of attention. A lot of people will have their elbows bent. You just want them to be straight, somewhat relaxed, not super stiff, but you want them to be straight. And then you don't want to be slouching over. You want to puff your chest out like you are a soldier, like you are proud to be in the United States Army. Now, the next position is going to be parade rest. You're gonna to have to go into the position from the position of attention. That is something I do wanna kinda of point out. If you get a leadership position at basic, you always go to the position of attention first, and then you go to the rest of these other positions. That's super duper key here is make sure you're at the position of attention first and then you go to parade rest. So 10 position of attention and then parade rest. And so what parade rest is, it is a 
slightly more relaxed, right? So your feet are gonna be spaced apart about shorter width, and then your hands are gonna be interlocked, just like this, behind your back at the small of your back. And I'm gonna show you guys some B-roll of this right now. But that's basically it. That's the only modification. You're spreading your feet shorter width apart, and then your hands are now behind you interlocked at the small of your back. You are still head and eye straight forward. You're not looking around. You're not talking. You're not doing any of that stuff. So that's basically the biggest thing for this is it's still like, it's like a tension, but it's a little bit more relaxed. And this will be something that you're kind of in and a more formal event where you're in a big mass formation you might be at parade rest for a, a long period of time and also pro tip just make sure you don't lock your knees guys because you will pass out and it does not take long now the next one which is finally one of the slightly relaxed ones very very slightly is stand at ease so now stand at ease is a little bit more relaxed than parade rest really all you're gonna be doing is moving your head and looking at whoever's talking <clears throat> so you go to the position of attention and then the whoever's in command will say stand at and then you do not move until they say ease, all right? So stand at ease. So that's exactly what you're gonna be doing. You do not wanna move until they say ease, right? So you have your preparatory command and you have your command of execution. Now the difference here with stand at ease and parade rest is with parade rest, your head and eyes are straightforward still. And with stand at ease, you are then looking at whoever's talking. So if I'm in, if I'm in the command right now of the platoon or whatever, or the company, and I say stand at ease, then he's gonna then still be technically at what was parade rest, but then you're gonna turn your head and look at whoever is in command and you're just gonna look at them. All right, so the next position down from stand at ease is at ease. So this is a little bit, we're going a little bit more relaxed every time we go from here. We're going attention, stand at ease, at ease. And again, you have to go to attention. Just go ahead and go to attention before you go to at ease. So if I was in command of the platoon, I would say platoon attention, and then I could say at ease. And then at ease, you can go ahead and go to at ease. At ease is a more relaxed version of stand at ease. You can actually move around a little bit. Um, you want to make sure that your hands are still interlocked behind your back, your right foot is still planted. But basically, this, this command is given basically in a more relaxed position. So if you're gonna be standing around in formation for a long per period of time, this might be after base training because at basic, they might do parade rest for just forever. Um, but it's basically if you're gonna be in formation for a long period of time, and the hands can be a little bit more relaxed, still intertwined behind your back. So the actual regs for at ease is again, same thing, feet shorter width apart, but the soldier still cannot talk. So you still cannot talk in all of these positions that we talked about, you are still not allowed to talk. However, in this one, you can move around. Make sure you're kind of, you know, bend your knees just a little bit so you don't actually pass out from losing blood circulation. And then the last one that you're not going to get at basic training more than likely is rest. And rest is the one that you, that you wish you had all the time, which is basically you can oh, do yes. anything you want as long as your right foot is planting on the ground. Yep. You do not move your right foot. You can lift your foot up. You can do literally whatever Tim is doing right now. You can do that at the rest position. So you will go to position of attention and then the command of execution is just rest and then he can now do whatever he wants. So that's one that you don't really need to practice, but it's something that I guess it's good to know, but you're probably not gonna get it at basic training. So just to recap, position of attention, parade rest, stand at ease, he's looking at me, at ease, a little bit more relaxed, and rest. And it goes in that order. All right, so the next movements that we're gonna go over are your facing movements that you're gonna do. These are just pretty standard. There's only three of them, so I'm gonna put this in here at the end of this video. That is left face, right face, and about face. You're gonna be doing these all the time, and these are things that you need to practice before you go to basic because you don't want to just absolutely, totally, just totally screw it up, right? So it's super simple. He's gonna demonstrate it for you guys, and I'm gonna explain it a little bit. So in all these positions, you're gonna be standing at the position of attention, Go ahead and position of attention. Now, right face is pretty simple. Whenever you do it in a two count and then pause on the one, okay. right? So right face. So he basically is twisting both feet on the right heel and then his left ball of his foot. So do it again. Do it slow, stop. That's exactly what you're gonna be in. And then you're going to move your left 
foot forward on right face. It's actually, it's a little bit difficult to explain, but I just want you guys to actually watch him. So, okay, Tim, do a right face, do it real slow, turn to the right, falls to your feet, forward, and at all times you're now uh, in the position of attention and you still have that 45 degree angle with your feet. Now, come ahead and face me. Now, left face is the same thing, but you are turning to the left. So do a left face. So that one's honestly pretty self-explanatory, so I'm not gonna go into too much depth about that one. Left face, right face, the same thing, it's just depending on which way you're going. So make sure that you are at home and you're practicing just doing left, right face, just left, right face, left, right face, left, right face. You're just practicing that, so that is just super simple. And then the next one, that can be a little bit tricky at first. You might take definitely some practice to do this one, and that is about face and basically that is just when you're turning around still at the position of attention you are turning around so timothy about face now this one it's gonna be a little bit difficult to explain but basically what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be using your right leg not your left leg i don't care if you're left footed or whatever you're gonna be using your right leg to actually turn around so you're gonna take your right foot bring it back a little bit add a little bit of an angle behind your feet it's again i mean it's a little bit hard to explain and then you're going to pivot and turn around on the heel and on your toe. And then again, finishing up in the position of attention with a 45 degree angle. That's your key. You want your heels to be together. You want to have that 45 degree angle with your feet. Yeah, and just to mention real quick, remember, you are not spinning to the left. If you use your right foot to pivot around, it's impossible to spin to your left and you're just going to look stupid and you're probably going to trip or fall or something. So again, practice this stuff. Always use your right foot to turn around. Everybody's got to be uniform, so that's why it's all the same way. It doesn't matter which foot coordination you have or whatever. That's how you're going to be doing it. So practice this at home um, as uh, multiple, multiple times, really as much as you can until you actually get it down pat. So you can do an about face and then about face and then an about face over and over and over again um, with relative ease. Okay, so that is it for the DNC, just basic facing and resting movements um, that I did with Tim here. He did pretty good. It's a little bit difficult to explain it, but if you have some trouble with figuring out what I was trying to explain, just go back and watch what he did and then do it. That's really the best you're gonna get is by watching him do it, try to repeat it yourself, and then practice, 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 so that when you get to basic training, you actually know how to do this stuff and again, you don't like trip and fall over or whatever. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. That'd be awesome. If you want to subscribe to more of my videos, hit that subscribe button. That would be even better. If you're not following me on Instagram and Snapchat, link is like right here. Make sure you guys go and do that. I hope you guys have an amazing freaking day and I'll see y'all later.